Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. Beyond measure. I'm gonna show you how great I am. Last night I cut the light off in my bedroom, hit the switch, was in the bed before the room was dark. I'm gonna show you how great I am. Only last week I murdered a rock, injured a stone, hospitalized a brick. I'm so mean I make medicine sick. I'm gonna show you how great I am. This kid's gonna be the best kid in the world. This kid's gonna be somebody better than anybody ever knew. I'm gonna show you how great I am. I have wrestled with an alligator. I done tussled with a whale. I done handcuffed lightning, throw thunder in jail. I'm gonna show you how great I am. All of you chumps are gonna bow when I whip him. All of you, I know you got him. I know you got him picked, but the man's in trouble. I'm gonna show you how great I am. But somewhere along the line, you changed. You stopped being you. You let people stick a finger in your face and tell you you're no good. And when things got hard, you started looking for something to blame. Like a big shadow. Let me tell you something you already know. The world ain't all sunshine and rainbows. It's a very mean and nasty place, and I don't care how tough you are, it will beat you to your knees and keep you there permanently if you let it. You, me, or nobody is gonna hit as hard as life. But it ain't about how hard you hit. It's about how hard you can get hit and keep moving forward. How much you can take and keep moving forward. That's how winning is done. Because if you're willing to go through all the battling you got to go through to get to where you want to get, who's got the right to stop you? I mean, maybe some of you guys got something you never finished, something you really want to do, something you never said, or something something. And you're told no, even after you pay your dues, who's got the right to tell you that? Who? Nobody. It's your right to listen to your gut, and ain't nobody's right to say no. Not to your earn your right to be what you want to be and do what you want to do. Now, if you know what you're worth, then go out and get what you're worth. But you gotta be willing to take the hit and not point your finger saying you ain't where you wanna be because of him or her or anybody. Cowards do that and that ain't you. You're better than that. Our deepest fear is not that we are inadequate. Our deepest fear is that we are powerful beyond measure. I'm sorry. I don't want to be an emperor. That's not my business. I don't want to rule or conquer anyone. I should like to help everyone if possible. Jew, Gentile, black man, white. We all want to help one another. Human beings are like that. We want to live by each other's happiness, not by each other's misery. We don't want to hate and despise one another. In this world, there's room for everyone. The good earth is rich and can provide for everyone. A way of life can be free and beautiful. We have lost the way. Greed has poisoned many souls. Has barricaded the world with hate. Has ghosted us person to use and bloodshed. We have developed speed. We have shut ourselves in. Machinery that gives abundance has left us in want. Our knowledge has made us cynical. Our cleverness hard and unkind. We think too much. We feel too little. More than machinery, we need humanity. More than cleverness, we need kindness and gentleness. Without these qualities, life will be violent, and all will be lost. The aeroplane and the radio have brought us closer together. The very nature of these inventions cries out for the goodness in men, cries out for universal brotherhood, for the unity of us all. Even now, my voice is reaching millions throughout the world, millions of despairing men, women, and little children, victims of a system that makes men torture and imprison innocent people. To those who can hear me, I say, do not despair. The misery that is now upon us is but the passing of greed, the bitterness of men who fear the way of human progress. The hate of men will pass, and dictators die, and the power they took from the people will return to the people, and so long as men die, liberty will never perish.